You want to be the team captain? I'm, I'm captain. He's a successful attorney in Austin. There. But when he's not poring over law books and legal documents, Hector De Leon Hold is practicing there. the golden rule. Uh-oh, it's a forced out. He sees the work he does with organizations like Children at Heart Ministries as repaying a debt. You know, a lot of people say, well, you worked hard and whatever. Sure, but there's no way that I could have achieved anything for which people would feel that I should be recognized without having assistance from a lot of people. Hector was born in 1946, the fourth of five children. Their family lived east of I-35, and the highway often felt like a dividing line. Hector's parents had a strong work ethic. His mother was a laundry checker and his father a cook. And though his parents had little education, the De Leons wanted more for their children. People can take away anything that you have, but people can't take away what you know. And so that's one thing that I learned from my father early on is get an education. Hector and his little brother got a paper route that took them to the state capitol. They made friends with a pioneering Hispanic lawmaker, Henry B. Gonzalez. He inspired young Hector. To think that somebody like Henry B. Gonzalez, a state senator, would pay attention to what we had to say and to actually converse with us, that meant a great deal. It gave me a sense that perhaps I could one day be like Henry B. Gonzalez. Hector started at UT in 1965. At that time, tuition was $75 and books were about $300. He lived at home so they could afford college. After graduating in 1970, Hector entered the UT School of Law. For years, he had dreamt of becoming an attorney. When I was 12 years old, I decided I wanted to be a lawyer because I used to watch Perry Mason. And I thought indoor work, no heavy lifting, not a bad deal. I had a pretty lady next to him. That sounds like something I could do. In law school, Hector was appointed UT Ombudsman, representing students when they had complaints. He earned his law degree in 1973 and became general counsel of the Texas State Board of Insurance. At 28, he was the youngest person ever to hold the job. But soon he was ready to open his own firm. I didn't have a client. I was just there, but fortunately I had a decent reputation in the business of insurance, had a decent reputation as a regulator, and people came to see me, and people hired me, and I've been very blessed and very fortunate in the practice of law. Hector will tell you another blessing is his wife Arlie. The two have known each other since seventh grade, and they reconnected after his first wife Elizabeth passed away during his final semester of law school. Hector and Arlie have been married for 37 years. They have three sons, four grandchildren, and they're still going strong. We just have to stay in communication with each other and laugh together, cry together, and understand that we'll be together forever. Today, Hector's law practice is ranked among the nation's best by US News and World Report. When he's not working or enjoying his family, Hector volunteers. He has served on the boards of Children at Heart Ministries and many other groups. He also chaired the board of the National Hispanic Institute, and he serves as a deacon at his church. And this life member of the Texas Exes hasn't forgotten the university that helped him achieve his goals. He has chaired the UT College of Education Foundation's Advisory Council. He has also served as president of the Texas Exes and is on the board of directors for KLRU. If we've been fortunate enough to get through UT, and to have done well, we have an obligation to give back. That's the most satisfying work of all. Hector has done well, and he remains grateful for the family and mentors who have helped him succeed. Tonight, we honor a man whose values have made him successful in law and in life. To those to whom much is given, much is required. Hector De Leon, a distinguished alumnus of the University of Texas at Austin.